Okay, this woman here, yeah. Uh, hi, um, hello, can you hear me? Vincent? Yeah. yeah. I'm here to represent the autistic community. We have an organisation, Autistic Rights Together, and I want to pose a question to you, Michael, in relation to the Autism Bill that was drawn up nearly four years ago and still lies dormant and not activated. Autistic children and adults are suffering from abuse and exploitation in Ireland today and all around the world. They're being given unregulated products such as MMS, a bleach solution, which is absolutely dangerous and is causing ill health to them on a, on a global level. I've addressed this with you many times, as you know. I've met with you in person. And what are your assurances about the autism bill and about legislation to protect the autistic community also the mistreatment in schools towards autistic children regarding restraints and isolation rooms and also in relation to the regulation around psychology which doesn't exist we have people out there diagnosing autistic children and adults in Ireland today who are not fully qualified it is an absolute disgrace it's a violation of human rights whether they have autism or not I have two autistic children I also have Asperger's we feel like our rights are not being recognized by your government today and we're absolutely disgusted to hear you go on about how wonderful the country is when the likes of us that have cutbacks in our carers allowance and our respite and our services it's a disgrace and you should be ashamed of yourselves okay <laughs> no no not you uh, Paul you want to answer you want to answer that question now or, 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 or. Yeah, on um, the autism bill, I don't know Michael can tell you the answer to his, um, to his <coughs> but I mean, autism is an issue that is obviously becoming very, very prevalent in, in our education system and it's something that has, is posing enormous challenges. Uh, I've met with, I know Millie is down there in the audience, I've, I've met with the, the parents group from uh, often enough. Uh, another issue I think, and I'd like to add it to it, is the, an ombudsman for, children, for education doesn't exist in this country and I think an awful lot of the issues that are there in the system that are not being addressed vis-a-vis -vis services for children with special learning needs would be addressed if there was existed an ombudsman specifically for education. I think it would be a huge step forward. But it's not just education, Jim. It's the fact that unregulated products are being given to autistic children, such as this bleach treatment, which is basically being created by a cult. Mm -hmm. It's being promoted, it's being sold. In Ireland, we have criminal investigations at the moment opened in Ireland mm -hmm. into parents using this in their children and also into those selling it. The fact that there's no legislation here, the Guardian can't do their job properly because the HPRA cannot police the products because they're sold online. So we need a legislation that focuses on the use, the promotion of these products as well as the sale. And what is the government doing about it? We had it raised in the door last year several times. Gillian Van Turner has been wonderful as Claire Daly has also. And all I get is the same response, zero. Okay, we want a meeting with the Minister for Health. He's the one apparently that can make this happen, and he still will not acknowledge any of our emails. This is a worldwide campaign that I'm talking about on a worldwide issue. Ireland could be pioneers in doing something really, really positive for the autistic community because right now we are suffering immensely. Yeah, you know what? Do you want to respond? Well, uh, I, I'm surprised the um, selling unregulated products to autistic children and causing further harm yes. seems to me it, it's a crime. That's well, a it crime. is a crime, but it's not being addressed as and a that crime. The, and, that, and it should be addressed, not, a, not as a health, it's a criminal issue. And, and, and my first thought, to know, and my first thought would there's be... There's no legislation there, there's nothing. The autism bill that Michael created four years ago, what the hell is going on? You know, how long does it take to protect the vulnerable in our society? Whilst everyone is doing well for themselves, there is a, a, a group of people that are not. Do they not matter in our society at all? Children. Whether they have you know, autism or whether, whatever their needs are, they are children at the end of the day and they're being tortured and experimented on. Okay, Margaret, you want to get into that? Uh, yeah.